Okay, in this video, we're going to solve this problem right here, and we're going to use the elimination method. And so let's begin. Okay, this is 2x, this is positive x, so if we want to eliminate the x term, we can do that if we multiply this piece by negative 2. This piece will remain the same, so times 1. So x times negative 2 is going to give us negative 2x. 3y times negative 2 is going to give us negative 6y. 5 times negative 2 is going to give us negative 10. And then this equation right here, nothing changes because we're multiplying by 1. So we get 2x plus 6y is equal to 10. And so if we combine negative 2x plus 2x is 0, negative 6y plus 6y is also 0, negative 10 plus 10 is also 0. So whenever you have 0 is equal to 0, you'll say you have infinitely many solution. And I'll show you why this is called infinitely many solution. So let's just say y is equal to 1. If I say y is equal to 1, I plug it in here. 3 times 1 is 3, and I want to get rid of it. 5 minus 3 is 2. So if y is equal to 1, then x is equal to 2. And let's just double check. 2 plus 3 times 1 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. That works. Now, I'm saying it's infinitely many solution. That means this equation, it will also work. 2 times 2 is 4, 6 times 1 is 6, 4 plus 6 is 10. So this is one correct answer. But again, there's infinitely many solutions. So we can also do something like this. y is equal to 2. Let's do the same thing. 3 times 2 is 6. We're going to subtract it. 5 minus 6 is negative 1. And so x is equal to negative 1. Now we have to try the second equation. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. 6 times 2 is 12. Negative 2 plus 12 is 10, so that's also correct. And so you could keep on going. You could do y is equal to 3, 4, 5, and so on. And this is an example of infinitely many solution. 